Whenever we're studying Taylor polynomials, one topic that needs to be discussed at the same time as we're discussing Taylor polynomials is the idea of a Maclaurin polynomial as well. It turns out these two guys are related. In this video, I want to explain what that relationship is. All right, so let's let's start with Taylor polynomials because that's that's what we're familiar with. W what is a Taylor polynomial? Well, there's a formula for it that we should know pretty well. Uh, this polynomial of degree n approximates a function f of x. f of x could be exponential, could be a trig function, could be a logarithm. doesn't matter. We're going to find a polynomial of degree n that will approximate him uh, around a certain point. We call it x equals c. c is called the center. And so here's your formula. So you take your f, and assuming f has n derivatives, then you're going to take n derivatives of f, and you're going to plug in c and then you're going to basically follow this pattern f of c plus f prime at c times x minus c c is the center so if it's centered at three this term would be x minus three for example and then f double prime at three over two factorial x minus three squared so on and so forth right and so for you know we've worked a number of these examples and you know what i suspect has probably happened is whenever you start these you're just hoping that the c is zero right because doesn't that make so much of our algebra a lot easier uh, we wouldn't have x minus three squared we just have x squared if this guy was centered at zero. And in fact, it's no coincidence that many of our examples have been centered at zero uh, if for simple algebra for nothing else. And it turns out we have so many of these Taylor polynomials that are centered at zero, we give them their own special name. That's what leads to this idea of a Maclaurin polynomial. So these guys are prefer preferably centered at zero uh, and oftentimes they are. So um, here's our definition of a Maclaurin polynomial. If your polynomial is centered at zero specifically, then your Taylor polynomial is actually more specifically called a Maclaurin polynomial. So let's make sure we understand this hierarchy. A Maclaurin polynomial is not something different than a Taylor polynomial. It's a special type of Taylor polynomial. It's the types that are centered at zero. If it's centered anywhere else, then we just call it a plain old Taylor polynomial. All right, so here's what this reduced definition will look like. If a centered, if C equals zero, check out what, what this would reduce to. Polynomial of degree N of X would be F of zero plus F prime at zero times X. Now, why, why just X? Why isn't it X minus C anymore? Well, it actually is. It's X minus zero, which simplifies to just an X f double prime at zero over two factorial times x squared man that looks a lot nicer plus on and on you go the nth derivative of f at zero divided by n factorial times just an x to the n so much simpler looking uh, if it's centered at zero now if you want kind of a picture to kind of explain this hierarchy let's say this is the set of every taylor polynomial there is well, a Maclaurin polynomial would be inside that set. So, you know, the, the logic would go like this. Every Maclaurin polynomial is a Taylor polynomial, but not every Taylor polynomial is a Maclaurin polynomial. So anyway, hopefully that helps explain the difference between a Taylor polynomial and a Maclaurin polynomial.